Hello my dear students welcome back to top lesson for you as you all know that uh, we are recording uh, about the branches of external carotid artery so in the previous lectures i have recorded about the um, branches uh, which uh, arise from the anterior aspects of the external carotid artery uh, there were three arteries uh, three big arteries which arise from the uh, anterior aspects of the uh, external carotid artery the first one was the superior thyroid artery then there was the lingual artery and then there was the facial artery right these three were the uh, anterior branches of the uh, external carotid artery now in this lecture we are starting about the posterior branches of the external carotid artery now we had told you that from the external carotid artery there are four groups of arteries arise the anterior ones the posterior one the medial and the terminal branches right so we have covered about the anterior branches the superior thyroid the lingual artery and the uh, facial artery right now we are uh, starting a, a lecture on the posterior branches of the external carotid arteries so i'm writing here posterior branches clear friends posterior branches of external carotid artery so we all know i had told you that from uh, the post you know, from the x external carotid artery there are two posterior branches which arises right so the first one is the occipital artery right let me write it here occipital artery right and the second one is the posterior auricular artery posterior auricular artery clear friends right these two arteries arise from the posterior aspects of the uh, external carotid artery now let me discuss the first one that is the occipital artery let's start our lecture right now the first artery that is the occipital artery right so let's see about the occipital artery it is a branch of first of all we all know that it is a branch of the uh, external carotid artery and it arises from the posterior aspects of the external carotid artery right we all know that it, this occipital artery arises from it arises from the or uh, I can say that it arises in the uh, carotid triangle right the, the the exact location will be the it arises in carotid triangle right so we know the uh, the position of the carotid triangle from the right from I told you from posterior aspects of posterior aspects of external carotid artery right what is occipital artery it is an artery which arises from the posterior aspects of the carot external carotid artery in the carotid triangle right and its exact origin point is the it arises opposite to the origin of fascial artery it arises opposite to origin of facial artery right friends very good it is its origin point now let's discuss about the branches of this artery right friends and i will show you all the branches in the diagram also so that you could easily understand them right so branches so friends the first two branches which arise from this uh, uh, occipital artery are the sternocleidomastide branches right let me write their name the first two branches 
are the sternocleidomastoid arteries, right? Okay, friends. So the first two branches are the sternocleidomastoid arteries. And how many sternocleidomastoid arteries arise from occipital artery? They are two. The first thing. And what do they supply? They supply the uh, sternocleidomastoid muscles. So I'm writing here. They supply oxygenated blood to sternocleido mastoid muscle very good this is the uh, I will show you in the diagram don't worry the sternocleidomastoid artery now the second artery that arises from the uh, occipital artery that is the auricular artery right auricular artery right as its name suggests auricle means ear so this artery supplies the back of the ear right it supplies back of ear right the second branch is the uh, uh, auricular artery now the third branch which arises from this uh, uh, occipital artery that is the mastoid artery mastoid artery we should remember their name and I will show you the diagram right so mastoid artery and this mastoid artery enters to the cranial cavity right to mastoid foramen it enters to cranial cavity through mastoid foramen right and what does it do it supplies the mastoid air cells and the dura matter right which is there so it supplies the mastoid air cells and dura right so the mastoid artery then the fourth branch which arises from this occipital artery is the meningeal artery meningeal artery the fourth one right so this meningeal artery enters the skull through the jugular foramen right it enters the skull enters skull through i'm writing it shortly jugular foramen right and what does it supplies it supplies the dura of the posterior cranial cavity right it supplies dura matter right dura matter of posterior cranial fossa exactly the next artery which arises from this uh, uh, occipital artery is the uh, descending branch uh, and this descending branch is also known as muscular branch right So this this is the fifth artery which arises from this uh, uh, occipital artery and this artery is responsible to supply blood to different muscles which are present in this uh, neck region so it supplies blood to 
this descending muscular artery or this descending or muscular artery supplies blood to digastric muscle supplies digastric muscle it also supplies the stylohyoideus muscle stylo hyoideus muscle right and it is also responsible to supply the splenius muscle splenius muscle and it is also responsible to supply to another muscle that is the longismus capitus muscle right friends so this is the descending branch and descending or muscular branch so five arteries now the next one which arises which uh, moves forward this artery will move forward and it will give a occipital branch right and it will give a the sixth one is the occipital branch occipital branch this is the sixth branch of the uh, occipital artery and it supplies mostly uh, the occipital part the occipital uh, region right occipital region right then the last one which uh, which are their terminal branches right so I will just write as terminal branches okay dear friends so terminal branches right so these seven arteries these are the branches of the post the occipital artery in the posterior branches of the external carotid artery we discussed about the occipital artery now let me make its diagram so that you could clearly understand um, their branches and how to draw this occipital artery so friends let me draw the diagram here clearly okay first of all we should know that it is a branch of external carotid artery so first of all we have to draw external carotid artery for example this is our external carotid artery right and from this external carotid artery there is a branch separates and this branch as we just discussed is the occipital artery right as this artery moves forward right as it is present in the occipital region so this that's why it's also known as occipital artery so it gives a first two branches as I had told you there that the first two branches are the sternocleidomastite branches right we will see all these we will label all these uh, branches right so these two are the this is occipital artery and these two first branches are the uh, uh, sternocleidomastite branches right if we move forward take this artery forward there will be a branch which arises from it and this branch is going to the posterior part of the auricle right so let me draw here the auricle right this is the ear for example this is the ear right so this artery has gone as you can see it has gone to the posterior part of the ear auricle right so this is auricular artery now let's move forward and while going forward it will give another branch and this branch is going to the mastoid region right so this is called mastoid artery clear friends very good and moving forward this artery will give the fifth the fourth branch that will be the meningeal artery right so here is our meningeal artery just to know about the branches we are making this diagram a simplified diagram right so this is the meningeal artery clear friends and moving forward this will give a descending artery right so this is our descending artery and 
and these small branches are its branches so this artery is our descending artery okay now let's move forward and further forward this is our occipital branch right this is our occipital branch of this occipital artery right let's move forward and it will branch off into two arteries right and these two arteries are its terminal arteries as i have mentioned there these are the terminal arteries clear friends okay these are the terminal arteries okay let's name all of these arteries this is our external carotid artery and this is the first one this is the second one these two are the sterno cleido mastoid arteries right sterno cleido mastoid arteries this one is the auricular auricular artery right it's very simple auricular artery then this fourth one this is first second and this is the third and this is the fourth one this is the mastoid artery mastoid artery isn't it so easy next one this is the fifth one the fifth artery and this is the meningeal artery meningeal artery right very good and this one is the sixth artery and this is the descending artery or the muscular artery descending or we can also call it as muscular artery right friends this one is the occipital branch the first the seventh one this is the occipital artery occipital branch right and these two are the terminal branches these two are the terminal branches right this is about the occipital artery right i hope you could draw the all the, and this diagram of the occipital artery and these are its branches the sternocleidomastoid arteries auricular arteries mastoid artery meningeal artery muscular artery occipital branch and the terminal branches right friends this was about the occipital artery and its branches now in the next lecture i will discuss about the uh, here i have written posterior auricular artery be with us don't go anywhere please subscribe our channel if you like our videos please share the videos and write your views in the comment section thank you so much